What's up everybody, JBSB here, and today we're going to talk about a few things about Tamiya Mini 4-wheel drive, one of my future goals, and a surprise towards the end of the video. I don't want to keep you waiting, so let's proceed to the video. Let's go! I saw Manny Pacquiao in this video. I think I saw him. Hmm. Shh. Manny Pacquiao is on this video. Shh. Hi guys. Today, JBSB here. JB Avenido. And today we're going to talk about a little bit of Tamiya Mini 4-wheel drive and the race yesterday. Just to give you an idea or just to be clear. I say yesterday, it means September 7, 2019. And that means that this is going to be a late upload for you guys. So, I just woke up a few minutes ago. And then, I had this crazy, crazy, crazy idea to make a video. And my idea is just to make an introduction video that has a little bit of clickbait on it. Because I've been researching for a while, watching YouTube tutorials, watching YouTuber giving, providing ideas and suggestions on how to become a successful YouTuber. And I'm just trying to add some clickbait on the thumbnail and also on the title. But I was thinking to remove any deception. The fight comes to an end. The winner and still champion of the world. That's cool. Anyways, let's go back. So this is just a few things on what happened yesterday. And the race started at 5 p.m. And everyone is excited. Fine. Set up and tune their mini four drives on the racetrack layout. Later. I will also include a layout. It will pop up on your screen, so you can have an idea. And just to give you information, I didn't, I didn't won that race. I just reached semifinals, but it's, it's a good race. It's a good race. I've learned a lot. I learned something from it. If you lost a race, it doesn't mean that you literally lost it. If you didn't, er, uh, if you didn't learn from it, it means you you failed on that race. But if you learn something, even if it's a tiny bit of information, you've already won. So that's that's a good advantage. Actually, that's a win-win. If you have a positive attitude. So on my future upload, probably I'll be tackling um, rules for pro stock and speed tech the rules that they're using usually here in the philippines so you'll be updated and also you'll understand because i will be tackling it i'll be reviewing it in vernacular or in uh, tagalog language everyone in the philippines can understand it fully and so every part of the rule of psph of uh, SRP rules. Uh, SRP is for speed tech. And just a disclaimer, I'm not pretty familiar with the, with the SRP rules, so I'm just going to review it. I'll uh, take time to review it and understand it so I can fully explain it to you guys in vernacular or in Tagalog. And uh, I will also interview some of the speed tech racers probably start with some of my teammates because our team leader and uh, the driver of the mini four wheel drive is actually good in speed tech and uh, in, the, in the past few months they are winning either champion first runner up or second runner up they are stepping on the podium and raising that trophy so um, they are credible and I will also tackle and explain the PSPH rule or Pro Stock Philippine rules. Uh, 
I believe there are six parts. Really, nigga? Explain it thoroughly, clearly, as far as I can. And I will also ask the, the admins and the head marshal of the PSPH to make sure that uh, everything that I'll be explaining is accurate, 100%, and there's no downside on it. So, yeah, uh, that will be on the future. I'll be discussing some layouts as well. I'll be uh, giving you an idea and what speed, what battery voltage you can use for you to be able to compete successfully. And if you're lucky enough, uh, you might be able to win that race that you're going to compete in. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my goal. And uh, speaking of goals, I have a uh, YouTube goal. So my first goal is the first two thousand dollars that uh, exact amount. Once I've seen it, if my channel grows and if I've been monetized, and once I'm earning from AdSense from YouTube, from Google, once Google sent me an exact amount of two thousand dollars, the first two thousand dollars that I'll be earning. By doing this career, um, I'm going to organize a big race or what we call a guaranteed price race here in the Philippines. So I will announce once I've already got an email from Google that's, uh, that says that uh, I can get the $2,000 already. I've earned as much as $2,000 or I earned more than $2,000 in just one go. And I will announce it. I'll post it on my Facebook account so every racers in the Philippines will get notified. And I'll organize a two thousand dollars GP race. <laughs> so that means uh, if we convert it into peso, so that is almost or more or less one hundred thousand peso. <laughs> no 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so but the crazy part of it the crazy part of what i'm thinking right now is the 100 kgp or guaranteed price is going to be free all right it's going to be free no entry fee for all of your cars so you can just Fall in line, bring your car when it's already tuned up, and just race it. You don't have to pay anything. So it means that that will be the biggest, the biggest guaranteed price that will be organized in the Philippines. So once I have that money, once I have that 100,000 peso, oh, hell no. that I've earned from YouTube, I will make it happen. Okay, just just a disclaimer, just to be clear, the one hundred thousand peso, um, probably I will deduct the trophy because I, I'm going to buy a buy a trophy. I will uh, pay the marshals if the venue will ask for some money. Probably I will just deduct it as well. But I will. Uh, so every uh, every piece of penny, every piece of cents will be add into the price price pool so so the 100k 100,000 pesos it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up it will not be exactly the full amount it will be lesser than 100k but i will not uh deduct any amount for myself i will not put it into my pocket so i will just give it all away so that's one of my goal and uh, I have a lot of videos waiting for edit. I'm, I'm having a hard time editing it because I'm not good at it yet. As much as I can, uh, I'm shooting a lot of videos so I can at least upload once a week, every Sunday afternoon. Manila time, Philippine time. So probably you'll be seeing uh, different content as well. So my channel is not only for Tamiya Minifo wheel drive racers or Tamiya enthusiasts 
uh, it's not only for them. I'm thinking of a lot of because uh, my channel in my description it says that anything under the sun as well so I'm thinking of, of a lot of entertaining videos and yeah uh, hopefully uh, I can catch a big fish I'm hoping that in in the future I'll be you know, uploading a video that will uh, be a trending one so yeah I'm, I'm checking the time it's been 12, 12 minutes already so I really don't want to eat a lot of your time because I know it's precious to you and I know there's a lot of things that I've said that it's not related on my first idea to to lay it all out the things that happened on the race yesterday but yeah I think this content is good enough than I was thinking earlier so hopefully uh, this will be helpful in the future and I do appreciate your time watching this video up until this point if you like the video if you like this one um, if you can just hit that like icon that will be much appreciated you can smash it you can smash it if you wanted to and subscribe if you aren't already if not too much to ask if you can just hit that bell icon as well so you can get notified on my future upload I do promise that in every upload moving forward I'll be better at making videos I will do my best to give you a substantial content a good amount of positivity on this content and I am trying to do my best to make it uh, educational for you guys and entertaining as well so again JBSB here and I think that's it for the meantime I just want to say be blessed today take care of yourself yeah, I think that's it. Bye for now. Sayonara.